Uh, kind of a, a, a bummer today with a story coming out about the Detroit Lion Camp Sutton, uh, who was a warrant has been issued for his arrest. Uh, and it came out in a social media tweet from the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office looking for Camp Sutton. Uh, it's been confirmed that it indeed is the Lions Camp Sutton. He's wanted for aggravated battery, domestic violence. They gave out what he is believed to be driving and what the license plate number is. Uh, this is after a alleged assault back on March 7th. Since that time, they have been searching for Cam Sutton and arrest warrant has been issued. The incident in question took place at 4.52 a.m. on March 7th in Lutz, Florida. An information officer for the Sheriff's Department told M Live, I'm going with Kyle Mikey's reporting here, he fled the scene before police arrived and all attempts to contact him have been failed. He has not shown up at his house. He's turned off his phone or had it disconnected, according to police. A quote from the communications officer said, quote, he's ducking us. Our deputies have exhausted all leads. He's got vehicles in a home nearby and he hasn't been there. He's turned off his phone. So they spent 13 days trying to find him. Now they've gone public, hoping to discover his whereabouts. These are not actions of someone that believes in their own innocence. Uh, I don't want to speculate too much. We do our best to be responsible in these situations, but this is a very, very bad look. Uh, his contract is set to balloon this year. Uh, in year two of his deal with the lions, but, um, but, he may not, who knows how this is going to play itself out. The Lions probably, if they didn't know about this and are just finding out about it today, are probably going to have to go out and look for some insurance in case he can't be on the Detroit Lions next season. Uh, and those who are wondering about voided contracts, the Ray Rice situation years ago, you may recall the running back with the Baltimore Ravens, who the video came out of him assaulting his girlfriend, the Ray Rice situation you do not just get to void the contract and not take the cap hit. At least the Ravens didn't then. There might be a change in the collective bargaining agreement since then, but that was the most recent case I could think of that's, that's potentially like this. Um, but back then, the Ravens took the full cap hit. So, uh, again, trying to find out if there has been a change in the collective bargaining agreement, but Back then, you couldn't just avoid it and get the money back. Yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to talk it through my own head. What do I think is fair? Um, and kind of want to have the team still being punished for having a player like that. I think it should count against the cap. Um, even though this is our guy we're talking about in our team, I don't know what the rule is on it. But, you know, there's... I guess there's just a problem with this. It's it's just bad all around. There's no yeah. good look to it. There's no happy ending in this one. Um, it's a terrible look for him to be gone for two weeks. And the fact that the the sheriff's department is is put out basically an APB through the people. Yep. You know, through the Twitterverse. Hey, help us find this guy. And and using terms like he's been ducking us for the last two weeks. That's uh that's not good. That's not a good look. So no, obviously it isn't. And the, you know, as far as the, the, the I, I can't imagine quick resolutions to cases like this. So I almost feel like the Lions are going to have to have to move forward as if they're not going to have them. Now, maybe they knew about this. Maybe that's why they went out and re-signed Emmanuel Mosley, traded for Carlton Davis and signed Amik Robertson. But that didn't seem like an overkill in terms of the corner situation. But and here's the other thing. We, we were just talking yesterday about how they kind of addressed everything in free agency and don't need to go into the draft saying have to have A, B, or C. They could go best player available. Brad Holmes has been pretty committed to his plan. And look, he's he he... he 
probably shouldn't comment on this publicly until more facts are available. And those facts might become available to him. But at some point in the next couple of weeks, they're going to have to talk about the draft. And unless this is resolved, which seems awfully unlikely, he will probably be asked, does it impact your draft strategy? And it might be one of the rare case scenarios where they're going to have to move off the best player available and say, we're going to have to address a need right here, right now. Now, it's also not too late in free agency to to go yeah. get a guy. Yeah, you can still do that. And I think back in the Ray Rice case, you know, when that when that story broke initially, NFL came out immediately handed down like a two-game suspension. They saw the police report, they read the police report, and they acted on it. It was two or four games. I forget what it was. Then, a little bit later, the video gets leaked of, of what happened. The video is horrible. Yeah, the video changed everything. That, that was, that was, honestly, I wonder if that went down in something that gets talked about in college classes to this day because we we have there's no video there's no pictures available right now when those come out if those come out i should say and they look bad it really does change perception like the the nfl you could read everything that happened well that's that, and was it randy gregory was he the one who had charges of of throwing a woman on a bed full of guns i think so yeah and i'm thinking to myself if there's video of that well, the th- here's a, and what bothered me about the Ray Rice case back then and still does today is that the NFL had the police report. You know, the police report says everything that happened yep. in the video. Yep. I mean, in excruciating detail, everything. I mean, it says hits her with the force in the face that knocks her to the ground. Okay, so that puts a pretty good picture in your mind of what happened. And then you see the video and you're like, it's exactly what happened. But yeah. when the video came out, then all of a sudden the NFL Roger Goodell said, wait a minute, whoa, this is this isn't what we thought it was. We're gonna have to give him a bigger suspension. And then things changed. And I, I can't remember if Ray Rice ever played again after that, but he was basically done. Uh and then the charges ended up getting dropped, right? Because his girlfriend dropped that the she didn't want to press charges on it. And um like it, there's, it's a just college, a, there's a college, there's a section in a college class about media. Yeah. About uh, that you could look at this case and really discuss it. Um because it was, I mean, I'm not going to say it's the first time video changed impressions. You go back to the Rodney King case, of course. But but in this, in that, that's that's where the sports world and that kind of thing intersected. And when that video came out and you saw it, I mean, it was disgusting. And the league. The Ray Rice. The Ray Rice video, yes. It came out and, oh, the, and the league. The Joe Mixon video. Yeah. And Joe Mixon still playing. Yep. You know, it doesn't get much worse than the Joe Mixon thing. Right? No. I mean, knocked out with one punch. Um, So we'll see how the NFL plays this one. Uh, We'll see what happens uh, with with more details. It'll come out at some point. But, yeah, if you start to get images of the the alleged victim, um, and and, and if it shows that that she was truly pummeled and and, and beaten, it's it's not good. It's not going to be good. And you already add that to the fact that he's been – Dodging police for two weeks. That's 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 the part where it's really hard to see. It's this. hard to explain hard that to, away. Yeah, it's hard to explain it away. Again, we try to be responsible and wait for these things to play itself out. But if you have been essentially on the run for two weeks, I don't, a I don't know what the end game is for him, and b I don't know how this could work out well for him. But we'll continue to keep this as best we can in line with facts as they get reported. To- 